Tail of the Toaster and Rencudia, welcome back to Learning Land. We've got the final piece of the Jiggle Jigsaw in the last episode. We gotta put it in place, because then you will love what happens when you've completed a piece of the Jigsaw. Ren will get to do this because she won the game last time. That looks right. Good work. This part of the jiggle is finished. <laughs> now see what happens when you try clicking on the picture. But don't forget, there'll be four more jiggle bits to find. It's a very it's round a duck pond. It's like the duck pond roundabout in oh. Kent that was once the roundabout of the year. All but right. we can click on any part of this jiggle jigsaw. <laughs> And it animates. Apart from the top right square, obviously, we'd need to buy Learning Land Issue 2 to get the pieces for that. That poor duck. I remember <laughs> that sound quack, effect. Quack. Listen again. <laughs> you keep laughing over the quack. It's the ship that makes no, me... the quack. Right, anyway, we love roundabouts, so spin for us. Mm -mm. Is that all we get for that one? I think so, I think we just get one thing for all our effort in at the fun fair. But I suppose it is a fun fair themed thing to be fair, and it's a budget length and it high budget length animation. That one refused to give up. And what's over here? We got a toy! Oh yeah, Robot Wars Champion. <laughs> Makes such a noise. Makes a noise? Mm. We might as well make British references, seeing as we're playing Learning Land. That was an X Factor joke just then. And there we go, that is the Jiggle Jigsaw. We would need issue 2 to fully complete it, sadly. But we are not done with content on Learning Land 3 at the fun fair. We have done all the games, oh, but... <laughs> Watch out, how's it going? But if you missed again, you've got no better in three episodes. I mean, apparently, one one. Hi. <laughs> That's all she says. Hi. We all know she's the smartest one. She'll get the degree. Well, no, Tim's the smartest, but then Sue will make a lovely housewife. Sue will get a degree and also manage to get married, unlike Tim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, we've got one major thing left to show off. The fun station. Got to click on that Milo and we get to see someone's noggin. Bloody hosted by Millie again. Look at those eyes. Oh, it was just dots. <laughs> I see what we're doing. I remember now we, we get to Millie. make Shrek. Ah. Ugh. No, that, this is automatic. I'm not doing this. I wouldn't make such an ugly face. <laughs> we get to give him headphones. Oh no, that's the skin change color. See if you can make a not cow. not color. That's a the cow. skin color button. Well, we don't even need to play this anymore. Millie's done it for us, basically. There's a lot of options. Well, we we didn't have. We, there's no choice for imagination. Rugrats. Rugrats. <laughs> I would print that one off. <laughs> I like that one. He's he's not looking very straight though, is he? No, I think he's. Oh, it's it's a mask. We can yeah, because we're gonna. Put that on. Oh yeah, so we can print these off and wear it, but I think they'll be a bit small for our heads. Right, let's pick a nice skin colour. Well, yeah. Now we got to make our best Tony from Coronation <laughs> Street. So uh, no hair. He's got to look hard. <laughs> right, I'll make one and then Ren, you make one as well. That um, that looks hard. I wouldn't mess with someone with three eyes. <laughs> I guess that's the best. Hello, it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him a Shrek nose. Oh, he's oh, he's supporting Red Nose Day. What a nice. Yeah. Guy. Well, there we go. We got our nice basic <laughs> bloke a, here. We made a a man mask. <laughs> Squidward. 
Frankenstein knows. Well, fair enough. I made the most basic man possible. <laughs> now okay. it's time for Amy to try and make something a little more imaginative. I, there's nothing I can imagine. Well, I come on. Imagine. Look what? at the draw, see what, what you end up with. the most imagin- What? He's ill! <laughs> <laughs> it's like... I Mr. would be Bobby. ill. I would be ill Ugh. at school to play Learning Land against the computer. Right. So I didn't have any friends. He's poorly. He's severely poorly. He's dyed his hair because he's a rebel. And I he's also poorly. Certainly did have a friend, but mm. he was one of the smartest kids in the school, so I don't think he needed this. There, he's a poorly pirate. He's got. <laughs> 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 They're looking at each other. <laughs> That's your well, face then. Well, the eyes can't change. What about? Oh, that looks funny. Um, Salty! No. Sam! <laughs> and Jenny! Oh, they're in love. Alright, oh, <laughs> well I think that pretty much exhausted the fun station, so let's look at the few remaining things. We can click on this question mark to see click what would... What? No! I, I missed... Okay. Try that again. Look who's here. Yeah, it's me. We're back again. Oh, you're gonna fail this time. No, there is no debating Millie's strength. She would win the Learning Land arm wrestling competition and would find a way to make it a game about English. Oh, I see the button I'm looking for. Yeah, before we get to the credits... Um, don't go to sleep. I'm tired, I've been at the fair all day. Ah, oh, Daddy, can we go again? No, son, I'm very poor. I didn't even get to go on the bumper cars. I'm just sat around doing learning. Anyway, once Sue is done with this tutorial, we can click <laughs> on the arrows. And nothing happened? Okay, <laughs> we can use you this feature. You have place to find out what's on the Learning Land CD-ROMs. If you want to find out what's on the next issue of Learning Land, click here. So then let's have a look at these that. Buttons to find out what we're all going to be doing. You can also find out what's on this issue of Learning Land by clicking here. Just in case you didn't fancy playing the game to find out. No, in issue four, it will be Let's Go Shopping! Oh, I remember I wanted that one. Well, you didn't get it. No, I never managed to get it for some reason. We could click on people's faces to see what the individual games are. I remember this one. I definitely had food fun. And letter oh. wobble. <laughs> letter wobble. And uh, something really collective about Learning Land. You won't really be able to see it here because two is green, three is purple, and four is light blue. But if you haven't played the issue of Learning Land, it will be grey instead. And if you have played it, then the current CD-ROM recognises it and colours in the button. So, I I would just strive to get rid of any grey buttons I had. Don't really have any to show off, because they can't show off any issues. Should we show issues. off our favourite one? Oh wait, can it not go further on? No, it can't go further on, because this is only issue 3. But there are, let me remind you, 52 volumes of Learning Land. And I don't... I, th I think it was a weekly release as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I think no, maybe it was like a fortnightly release or something. Yeah, fortnightly makes sense, but they sure put them out fast. And yeah, they were, they were good quality stuff. I'm sure they were made quite quickly, but for its time it was it was pretty good. And I enjoyed it, and it genuinely taught me stuff as a kid. And Picture Planet was the bomb. That was one of Tim's only fun games, because it was a dot to dot. Oh yeah. I like this one, man. That was the best, because the bin spoke, and he enjoyed eating. He'd go, oh, yummy trash, or oh, yummy rubbish. Sesame Street, man. Yeah, it does, that was one of those in Sesame Street, wasn't there? Oh, I don't know my Sesame Street. It was that bin thing. Oscar? 
Oscar the Grouch? That's right. Biff's birthday. We certainly played that one. Biff got spoiled on his birthday. He nearly nearly ruined his own front door when he barged it open, but maybe save that for another time. So we have now visited the fairground of Learning Land. All we have to do now is view the credits, and then I'll treat you to a little tour of Windows 98, just in case you forgot it. Are you sure you want to leave Learning Land? Click the green button to finish playing. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sue. You are our favourite Learning Land character. Just the head of Biff, but we do have to go. Can't miss Coronation Street. We already are. <laughs> Never mind. Thanks for the audio house for providing these wonderful sound Biff's clips. Face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. See you later. I, I think he knocked eating. his head on a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Tim fancies <laughs> Millie? No. And we get a nice '90s style dotting around. Outro, which takes forever. Hey, let's go on MS Paint. What? 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 Oh, it's, it's bugged up. This is meant to quit the game. Hello. I hope you're looking for an exciting trip to Learning Land. I, the... <laughs> it's demonic. We can't escape. Can I press the start button? You know. Hey! What? <laughs> 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 oh, this is creepy. Um. Can we close it for We're not getting out of this easily. <laughs> Cover? Maybe Tim fancies you. Can I minimize <laughs> Tim, it? Tim's offended by your comments. I don't fancy Millie, I hate her. She's um, disgusting. I can't get an internet connection, sadly, but if I try to no, launch... No, you're not going on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> not until you've revised your maths homework. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Calm down, uh, it's not that funny. I know, but I'm just imagining a creepy zoom in on him as he just continues to talk. Oh, it was loading. I just forgot how fast the internet is nowadays. It just takes a while to load Internet Explorer. Oh, well, it's... Oh, MSN Internet Access. We need a modem to do it, though, so let's just finish things off on Microsoft Paint back when it was in the Accessories menu. Sorry, MSN. Right, draw something for our viewers, Amy. You're the artist. This is your chance to make people click on the DeviantArt link in the video description. You are an artist. Show them what you've got. Ha oh, ha, I'm Mickey Mouse! Ha <laughs> oh, oh. I would never do a Mickey Mouse after what we've just seen. Oh yeah, we've already got him, the mouse. Don't need any more. No, no, I'm just sort of showing how Tim is an inevitable escape. There's no matter what we do, we're going to see Tim's face. We'll fall asleep and we'll see his creepy face talking to us. Uh, oh. what, you, you know, Learning Land, neither of us ever had this, but what we both really wanted... More than anything was the Learning Land plushies. I don't know how you were able to get them, but some people just had them. My mate had them and I was jealous. If ever you see one on eBay, just tell me, won't you? But there we go, so <laughs> thanks very much for tuning in. If people want it, then I, we might cover another Learning Land game in the future, because after all, we're the only people who actually have functional discs of Learning Land and a way to play it and a decently sized YouTube channel. No one else has made Learning Land content, so if anyone really specifically needs archival footage <laughs> of, a, fix. of a particular <laughs> Learning Land, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll assume you all hated the series and will never bring it back. But thanks for watching. You can get back to the real Let's Play now of Inazuma 11 2.
Goodbye. Uh. No.